So this is um, this comes from Tom at Oxford, Pennsylvania, and he says, in Beat of Hawaii blog, I've seen an increasing amount of comments from mainlanders who have been berated by negative, vulgar, and offensive comments from locals, including one couple who has been going to Kauai for 20 years and just bought a condo in Kauai. In February, they and their family were verbally abused and, quote, flipped the bird. I realize the pandemic has increased the stress and fear of locals versus tourists or haulis, but is this a bigger problem? If so, why would a mainlander like me buy a property in Hawaii? My wife and I have been going to Kauai for years and plan to retire in Kauai next year, but now I'm not so sure. And so I think you know, this is an interesting, I get this from a variety of angles. Uh, it's really kind of funny on the YouTube channel. I get, <laughs> I get, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of crate. I get a lot of comments on my YouTube channel from locals who say, you know, how, how dare you promote Hawaii and, you know, keep people out. And, you know, you're just promoting more people to come to Hawaii. And we, you know, everybody, you know, how these, how these stay out, right? You guys, you know, now that, now that I've moved here, nobody else can come in. Uh, is sort of what my little re uh, response is. Um, so I'm going to, Dylan, why don't you kind of start this one? Uh, uh, you've, your, your family's been here for generations. You've got the, you know, Scott and I both moved here though. It's been a bunch of decades, but you know, you've got sort of much more of a local feel. Uh, what's, what's your thing? Number one, do you see this as, is, is this a larger trend, a growing trend? Is this kind of, this sort of a one-off? Is it just, at the, you know, there's also a legitimate thing that sometimes folks, people do act holy. And if you act holy in Hawaii, it's just not going to work for you. But um, what's what's your sense of all this, Dylan? How do you respond? So I would I would say we got to take this in context. And as beautiful and as much of a paradise as Hawaii is, do we have ignorant, stupid people, rude people? Absolutely. We like everywhere else. And but but what is the proportion? And you know, I would argue that it's a lot less than a big city and many other places in in America and the world. But the other thing that you got to look at is if you're following some type of blog that focuses on these types of occurrences and experiences, of course it's going to look like it happens a lot. But is there a blog that talks about all of the amazing experiences people have, all of the the love and warmth that they experience when they move here, how they're embraced by the community. There are there are exponentially, I would argue, thousands of times more experiences like that than the negative one, ex, you know, experiences here and there. But those are the ones like the news nowadays that get all of the traction and get all of the attention. And especially if you have, you know, a, a place online where people are collecting these types of experiences, it can look a lot worse than it is. In, in my opinion and experience, you know, and I just met with some clients yesterday who bought almost a year ago and, ha and were just raving about um, moving here from the East Coast and how they've been embraced and how they feel like they're, they have family here already and so many good friends and, you know, never had a bad experience. So I can, I can point to hundreds, thousands of experiences like that. Do the bad ones happen? Absolutely. Is that a, a growing or terrible trend? I, I, I would argue no. Yeah, you know, I think that's I think that's the 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 big the big thing is that there is it's it's I don't see it as a growing I don't see it as a growing trend. Scott, you're 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 uh, you're you're also in in agreement with that. What's what's your as a, as 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 the co uh co host on the show here? Uh, what's what's your view on this? And, and, and let's not forget, my mom came from New York, uh, you know, forty <laughs> years ago. So I, I, you know, I'm half I'm half Holly too. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Holly te technically means what form, not from here. It's not, but, a, it's not, it's not a derogatory term. I mean, if you yeah. live here, I mean, I always, I, I tell people that people that move here, if it's, if it's uh prefaced with a derogatory term, F in Howley, <laughs> then you have to worry. But if you're just called a Howley, it's just somebody referring to you as being, being white or not being from here. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a racist or derogatory term at all. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd say there's just, I mean, a couple of general things for one, this is a part of the reason I live here is because it's, it's, uh, a more laid back, more um, community based, family oriented place to live. And if you come here with, like we said last week, with, you know, this significant drive and people need to change towards me, you're going to run in, you're going to ruffle feathers, you're going to run into some, 
some issues, but not not in the context of what's being said there. Uh, I've maybe run into one or two of those times in my entire in the 21 years that I've been here, and that was both of them were out in the water surfing, and I just you know I chuckle at the people and like yeah, yeah whatever buddy you know it's that occasional bad apple that you're going to run into anywhere. And the interesting thing from a real estate side for me, and I I drive around in a Mercedes SUV. There's not a single neighborhood on this on this island that I feel uncomfortable going into. Um, whereas on the mainland, there's certain sections and certain neighborhoods you just do not go into. So by no means have I, I, I haven't really ever experienced this. In fact, I would say it's more the opposite. It's more of an embracing community than it is not wanting to be here. Now, the funny one is like Lanikai, where, you know, th there's parking issues down there and they're like, oh, you know, a lot of people are like, hey, don't, we don't want any more people down here. It's like, yeah, that's because you're there now you're saying that because you got in, right? Uh, I made it. No one else can come here now. Don't bring anybody else. And it, it, I, I just, I, I can't agree with that. That Well, that's, that's one of my most, most favorite ones. Uh, you know, the, again, it's like now that I've moved here, no more people can move here. I'm, I'm set. I've got my home, nobody else, no more development, uh, no more homes because I've got mine and, and we're good. You know, just to, just to expand this a little bit, I think the, um, uh, I have put together a couple of videos on my channel about you know, how the culture is here and how you really have to, it, it sort of, frankly, I believe the culture here in many ways forces you to be kind and to be good because it's, it's just like the norm. It's the cultural norm in Hawaii, which is one of the wonderful things about it. Uh, onto the Haole comment though, I want to get back to that uh, on yours, Dylan, because I think you're exactly right. And I think that's something that people, it, it takes a while to kind of before you understand it because Again, I could say the two resident Howleys here, me and Scott, right? And and I guess now that we know the half Howley here, you, Dylan, um, you know, I mean, we we say it and we laugh because we know what we're talking about. We're using it as a, as an adjective to describe a person. Oh, there's the Howley guy over here, or 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 etc. And as Dylan said, if it if it's perceived with effing, if it's effing Howley, different story. Um, or the other one is uh, uh, the the joke that goes around our house a lot is like. Oh my God, you are so holy. You are so holy, right? And 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 what does that mean, right? That means that you know you've you've really got you've you've kind of still got this sort of mainland attitude and you really haven't kind of transformed yourself yet to be you know kind of blended into the culture. You're so don't be so holy, right? I in fact, I, I I do think about I do want to write a book one day and the title has to be Don't Be So Holy, How to Get Along in Hawaii. But <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I, I think we've kind of, I think we kind of beat this one up. Uh, let's, let's kind of, let's move on.